Hi, my name is Jay Harris and I'm president of Infinity Box LLC. And in this video, we want to show you in detail how to use our ENCODE programmer to update your system, specifically to update your master cell. Before we get too far, you should only be watching this video if you've already engaged with one of our technical support people and you've worked out something and we've actually sent you code to load onto your system. So if that's the case, you should be getting an email that looks something like this. Um, in there, it's going to be a piece of code. It's going to be a couple of important links. Uh, one link that goes to our blog that actually goes through this process step by step. And another link to actually download the software to run the ENCODE programmer. So, again, we really encourage you to go through and you read step by step here in the blog. This video is going to go through this in more detail. But before you do anything else, you need to download the software for the ENCODE programmer. And you should have this or you've worked out with one of our tech guys getting our ENCODE programmer. And the really important message that we need to get across right now is do not plug the ENCODE programmer into your computer until you've downloaded and installed the software. The other really important message is that this has to be done from a Windows PC. There is no Apple version of this software, and you cannot do this from a tablet or a smartphone. It has to be done from a Windows PC. So first, go to this link right here in the email that we send you. Click on that, and that's going to download the software. And when you do that, you will see a window like this that pops up. And what you want to do is you're looking for this install underscore prg.exe file, and you want to click the download button. Now, when you download this, it's going to be up to you and your computer settings to understand where this file goes. Um, in some cases, customers have their computers uh, automatically set so it goes to the desktop. In other cases, it goes to a downloads folder. But you need to understand and you need to find where this application goes on your computer. In the sake of what I'm doing right now, I have already set this so this goes right to our desktop. And that right there is the install underscore PRG file that has the software to control the ENCODE programmer. So when I double click on this, it's going to do a couple things and it's going to open up the package. You'll get a message like this. I'm going to hit yes because again, it's, it, your computer may say it's an unknown piece of software. Uh, we have tested this and it's absolutely okay. So just let it run. And in this window, it's going to ask you, where do you want the software installed? Or hit Enter to choose the default location. That's what you want. So I'm just going to hit the Enter button. This is going to go off and do some magic, and it's going to uninstall the package. And it's going to put it in that, the, the, the C drive of your computer. Once you get to this point right here, hit Enter to exit the software installer. And you're done. You have now installed the software on your computer. Okay, once you've installed the application for the ENCODE programmer, we really recommend that you reboot the computer. And that may take a couple seconds, but reboot the computer, that will make things easier. Once you're done with that, take the USB cable from the PIC Pro or the ENCODE programmer and plug it into a USB port on your laptop. Or when you do that, you should hear that sound, that the, the USB tone that essentially lets you know that the computer has recognized you've plugged in a USB device. And once you do that, depending on the version of software you have, you may get a message that pops up that says that the computer is installing the drivers. In the case here, the drivers are already installed, so the PIC pro programmer, or the ENCODE programmer, is ready to go. So what you need to do now is, from the email that was sent to you, by one of our technical support team members, you need to save that attachment. So in this case, I'm using Outlook, so I'm going to go here to Save Attachments, and I'm going to select the attachment in the file, and I'm going to save that somewhere that's easy for me to get to. So I'm going to put that right here on my desktop. So that way, I know that when I'm ready to do this, it's very easy for me to find that piece of software. And so there is the file right here. That's the hex file that we're sending you.
Now, if you're using some kind of web-based application, um, you need to go through that and just understand how you download files from your email and how you save them somewhere you can get to. And so in this case, I have it here on the desktop. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go to my Start button. If you go under your Applications, you'll see an Embed Ink folder. And under Embed Ink, you'll see an application titled Program Pick. So I'm going to click on that, and that brings up this box right here. And this is actually the programming interface for the Pick Pro Programmer, or what we call ENCODE. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get that application in here. And a lot of our customers, once they download that application, or once they download the hex file, they double-click on it expecting it to do something. The file we send you is just information. There's no application there, and double-clicking on that hex file will do nothing. You need to load the hex file into this application so it can be loaded into the system. So once you get this open, hit the Browse button. And then it's going to default to a folder inside the Embed Ink application. You need to go browse to where you saved your hex file, which in my case is on the desktop. So from this window, I'm going to click Desktop. And I'm going to scroll through here, and I'm going to find that hex file. So the next thing I need to do is I need to plug the ENCODE programmer into my master cell. And under the clear cover of the master cell, there's a programming port, and there's a socket there that mates with the black connector on the end of the cable coming off the ENCODE. It can only go in one way, so plug that in. And once that's done, hit the Program button. Now, once you do that, you should see this spinning disk right here, or the, that spinning icon. We don't develop this piece of software. Um, this is actually done by a partner company on the outside. And it does not acknowledge it's done the job until it's absolutely finished. Um, but I know it's working because I have this spinning disk um, for an icon. And also, you'll see up here that it's not responding. It's not responding because the PIC Pro Programmer, or what we call the ENCODE Programmer, is busy. And you can also check that it's busy if you look on the ENCODE box, there is a green LED. When it's doing its job, that green LED should be flashing about once a second. This whole process takes about 90 seconds to do. And what it's doing is the ENCODE programmer is checking to see what is on the master cell. It is clearing off what is on the master cell. It is loading the new code, and it does several steps of verification to make sure it is done correctly. Now, while we're waiting for this to finish, this is a really important message. The overwhelming majority of any time a customer would be using the ENCODE programmer is to update a master cell, and that is based on requests or based on custom requirements, you'd be uploading code to a master cell. In the email that's going to come from your technician here at Infinity Box, it's going to be very explicit. In the case of this email right here, this code is the update for the master cell. And it is very important that that code does not get loaded onto any other cell in the system. So do not load master cell code on power cells or in motion be sure to read the email and follow the instructions very carefully. So now, the time has elapsed, so a minute or 102 seconds have passed, and no errors have occurred. That's the message that you're looking for. You're not going to get anything more positive out of this outside of no errors occurred. So once you get that message, you can unplug the programmer cable from your master cell. You can exit the Embed Inc. application, and you are done. If you have any additional questions about this process, please contact our team at sales at infinitybox.com or call us directly at 847-232-1991.